Look at these dots appearing on your screen and you might notice something familiar because this is what happens every time you plot data from the real world. Now watch as I draw different lines through these points and each line is trying to capture the pattern. But some lines clearly do a better job than others. And this brings us to a fundamental question the statisticians have been asking for over 200 years. Which line fits best? The answer to this question is what we call linear regression. And it's probably the most widely used statistical technique in the world, powering everything from weather predictions to stock market analysis. When we say linear regression, we're talking about finding a straight line described by the equation y equals m times x plus b, where m is the slope and b is where the line crosses the y-axis, and our goal is to find the perfect values for m and b that make our line fit the data as closely as possible. But here's where it gets really practical, because to measure how well a line fits, we need to look at the mistakes it makes. And these mistakes are simply the vertical distances between each data point and where our line predicts it should be. You can see these orange lines showing the errors and notice how they change as I move the line around, getting longer when the fit is poor and shorter when the line gets closer to the pattern in the data.